Hello everyone, I wanted to do a energy update for everybody. So today is February 16th, but of course we live in a now moment. So whenever you read this or listen to this, not read it, whenever you listen to this um, is perfect and divine. So right now, what so many of us are experiencing in our reality is this new way of being where we are literally stepping out of a conventional bubble, which is a third dimensional way of being. It's natural, it's normal, it's programmed, it's comfortable, it's relaxing. It may not be fun, but it's what we know. And in this new 2020 year, we are now being asked to take action. And what is occurring for so many of us as we continue to step forward in every new now is that we are recognizing that we are literally transforming, shifting out of one bubble into another bubble. We are literally being completely different. We're not talking about it anymore. And what this looks like is that there may be a sense of being completely alone in this world, completely alienated from everybody else around you, feeling like you are the uh, white sheep or whatever that phrase is, right, in the, in the room, uh, different from everybody else, that nobody else is understanding you, that you're now having to push boundaries, hold firm boundaries, constantly say no, no longer follow what is asked of you, what we should be doing, the way it is done. This is how it's done. This is just what you do, right? You stock money away in a 401k. You work 50, 60 hours a week, right? You set up plans and you follow those plans. Um, you're consistent with your, with your plans. Uh, if you're in a relationship, you're committed to that relationship, no matter how miserable you are. Uh, I mean, the, the, the belief systems just go on and on and on. And what you are finding, many of us, is that we no longer can live this way. We just can't live this way. We are breaking out of belief systems and paradigms. We are breaking out of a cloud and we are stepping into a new cloud, a dimension. We are stepping out of the third dimension and we are being in a fourth dimension in every now. And this process is going to make us feel different. It's going to make us feel alone, perhaps. It's going to make us feel like we are doing things that nobody else around us as, is doing. That is the design. That's how it is designed to be. There is no way to scoot around that. Many. This takes so much courage because many of us it's, it's comfortable being in the old. It's comfortable just agreeing. It's comfortable just saying, yes, I'll go along with this. Yes, I'll just continue to do what I should do or what society tells me to do or what all the programs and belief systems and paradigms are telling me, right? Even though internally, as your resonance is changing, your resonance, the energy, your energy field is shifting into higher frequencies, you're not gonna be able to be this way, do these things, say these things. And so as you courageously continue to pull yourself out of these belief systems, pull yourself out of these paradigms, you're gonna find yourself standing in a cloud, in a dimensional field with brand new ways of being. And you're looking around thinking nobody else is this doing this, nobody else is believing this, nobody else is, is understanding this, nobody else knows this. It's really freaky because you're now having to speak a truth that most people around you aren't believing yet. This is your job as a way shower. You're a way shower. You can call it a light worker. You can call it a star seed. You can call it a grid keeper. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but you're a way shower and a way shower shows the way. And right now we are all actively being and forcing, being forced to be in these new ways. We no longer have a choice, right? And it's taking a lot of courage, right? We're having to end things. We're having to feel intensely all the things we've never wanted to feel. We're having to speak 
to people and events and experiences that we've never wanted to actually speak to, right? We're having to confront experiences, confront people. We're having to leave systems that we've been in for so long that no longer resonate. And when we do, everyone around us is saying, what are you doing? That seems really strange. Why aren't you doing these things? Why aren't you doing those things, right? I mean, it, 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 these systems that we're breaking out of is is everywhere it's it's everything and most of the humans around you aren't doing it yet because they're not ready but you are because you're the way shower there's hundreds of thousands of us here right now and when you start showing the way you are being in the higher states of consciousness which require new ways of thinking new ways of believing, new ways of being. You have to break out of these old belief systems. You have to start trusting the resonance, which is everything. Your resonance, your energetic field is telling you the yes and no. This no longer feels right. This, you need to speak this. You need to, you need to take this action, right? And so when you start stepping into these new ways of being, you're going against the grain. That's how it's designed. That's what a way shower is. They go against the grain in order to open up the next dimensional field for the rest of humanity to come forward. We have to open this dimensional field. The way we open the dimensional field is we hold the dimensional field in our bodies. When we hold the dimensional field in our body, we are anchoring that frequency. And that's what we're doing right now. We are beginning to anchor these higher frequencies in our body. That means our body then is vibrating in that frequency. So we are standing on the same earth plane as a denser human form, and yet we are vibrating in a higher frequency. And the more humans that are courageously continuing to anchor and be in these higher frequencies, the more that higher frequency expands. And as that higher frequency expands through all of the humans courageously holding that, the more the denser humans start to pick up on that frequency and start to choose to move into those frequencies. They join us. When we, as the way showers, start holding these higher frequencies, start stepping into this higher dimensional realm, the next dimensional realm, the fourth dimensional realm, what happens is we, have to, we are being in it now. It's not enough to just feel it. Meaning it's not enough to just feel joy and peace and expansion and alignment. We actually have to be in our every now human life that higher frequency, which means that we have to honor what we believe as our truths. You may not believe in relationships the same way. You may not believe in the whole corporate system the same way. You may not believe in the whole governmental system the same way, the whole, uh, the way the system is set up for taxes, the way systems are set up in the healthcare industry, right? The way people raise their children, the way we, the way we live in community. I don't know. It's all going to shift for you, right? As you start shifting into these higher frequencies. It's all going to start shifting because you are going to start to be how we be in a fourth dimensional field anchored in it. You have to be it. It's, it's not enough to just feel those frequencies now. You have, to, you have to be the example. You have to show the rest of humanity where they're going. That's what we're starting to do. And that feels crunchy and uncomfortable because now you're in a group of people that are all talking about some sort of belief system. And you're sitting at the table going, oh my God, none of this resonates with me. So our initial experience is I'm just going to stop hanging out with these people, right? Or I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to rock the boat. But eventually you're going to have to start rocking the boat, meaning you're going to have to just start to speak your truth. Someone says, well, what do you believe? Well, actually, I believe this, 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 right? And then, oh my God, watch out. How could you believe that? That's so irresponsible and, you know, all these things that the humans are going to say. And so our job as way showers is to honor their existence, honor their frequency, honor their consciousness, 
and hold firm and strong in who we are. They don't know we're way showers. They don't need to know. That's not their job. And by the way, it's not our job to tell them, wow, I'm a way shower and I'm going to, I'm showing the way and don't worry, you'll eventually see it my way. Because when you start moving into these higher frequencies, there's no duality, right? You see everything just as it is, as consciousness and you honor it all. You honor it as consciousness and you recognize that your job as a way shower, light worker, star secret keeper is not to tell somebody how to be. If you start telling somebody how to be, you're living in duality. Your job as a way shower is to literally show the way by being the way, by being the higher consciousness, by being the higher states of consciousness and not just being in love and being in joy and being expansion. A hawk just flew by. You have to actually physically be it. So your choices are in higher states. Right? Your connections and communication is in higher states. The way you navigate your now is in higher states. Right? The way you engage with people, higher states. The way you are in a present moment, higher state. Right? And people aren't going to understand it necessarily. This is what we are going through right now. This is the current energies that we're experiencing. We're now recognizing, oh, it's great to feel these things, but now I actually have to take action. I have to take action now. I have to be it. I have to actually be it. I have to actually speak my truth. I can't be quiet anymore, right? I can't hide and pretend. I actually have to be me. I have to be my frequency courageously. And we navigate that fine line between speaking our truth and the need, like the need to speak the truth and then speaking the truth. It's a, there's a massive difference between that. You want to be, you want to be firm in your sovereignty and your truth when you are with people, but you don't want to be stepping over people's, you don't want to be pushing your beliefs or truth onto somebody, right? So you're not speaking your truth to make sure that the other person understands that you're right. This is the right way. You're speaking your truth when you feel the desire and need to hold your sovereign space, to be you. But you don't speak your truth in order to convince someone or to show somebody the right way, right? We want to we want to be conscious of that fine line because it is a fine line, right? As the way shower, we are just showing as example. We're not arguing. It's not about speaking. It's about being. Being is the best way to show. So when you're going about your day and you're feeling alone, you're feeling alienated, you're feeling... Um, different. You're feeling more and more different. You're feeling like everything you think, feel, believe is no longer what anyone around you is experiencing. That is exactly the way it's designed to be. Welcome to the next stage of ascension. This is it. We are now being in a different bubble. What a great gift. What a great gift you are being to humanity because you are literally showing the way. You're opening up the next dimensional field for the rest of humanity to choose to move in. Nobody has to move into these next dimensional fields. There is no right, right? Not everyone is going to choose to ascend. They don't need to, right? So, but you as a way shower, light worker, star seed are here to move forward, to move consciousness forward, to open up that dimensional field so that humanity that chooses can move forward into it. Okay? So it's all perfect. You're perfect. There's nothing wrong with you. It takes a huge amount of courage to move through this stage. I mean, every stage of ascension it takes so much courage, right? But this stage, this action stage, where we are actually actively now being in these higher states, not just feeling, 
right? There was a stage that we went through, and you may be going through this stage. I don't know what you're going through, but there's a stage that you go through when you first start tapping into these higher consciousnesses, the fourth and fifth dimensional fields, where you start feeling that consciousness. So your heart starts to open, you start to feel expansion, you start to feel unity, you start to feel oneness, you start to feel lots of joy. You just start feeling these expanded states. That is just the groundwork. That's just the beginning. That is us starting to tap into those dimensional fields. Wow, that feels amazing. I want to keep doing that. That's such an amazing gift to be able to feel that. Oh my God, that's who I am, right? Because it is. It's in your body. It's in your physical form. Your physical form is increasing its frequency, allowing you to tap into these higher dimensional fields. However, that's just one piece. Now you're recognizing, oh shit, it's not enough to just tap into and feel those frequencies and be in those frequencies. Now I actually have to be actively, consciously in every now, a completely new version of me in a new dimensional field, in a new cloud, which means my decisions are different. The way I communicate is different. The way I am in relationship is different. The way I look at my career and my job is different. The way I step into the next now is different. I surrender. I no longer control. I stay in present moment. I don't make plans anymore. Um, I don't commit to things. Um, I don't live in future, which means I may not have a 401k anymore, right? Like all these things are going to start to shift. It's impossible to hold these lower dimensional programs as you shift into the higher dimensional fields. So it's not enough to just feel these higher states when you're now in a relationship that no longer works for you, right? You now have to be a higher version of you in a relationship that existed in a lower version of you. And now you're navigating how to separate from this relationship, let's say, and it's not enough to just open your heart and feel love, joy, peace, and alignment and expansion. That's not going to help you. You actually need to listen to your resonance, speak your truth, hold firm boundaries, let go of control, trust and surrender into your now and the aspect of you that's the higher self, listen to your higher self, follow your higher self's guidance, relax the ego, quiet the ego down. These are all things that we are practicing, right? This is all part of the ascension. It's all part of it. But it's going to start to get very real the more we start ascending, meaning it's going to start to take action. We're going to have to act. We are actually going to have to acknowledge that we are different. We're going to have to acknowledge that we are not like all the other humans that are not consciously ascending. There is no right or wrong, good or bad. There's no higher than or lower than. But we have to start to acknowledge and honor the fact that we are here to be a way shower, to show others how to be in the higher states. Which means you have to be the higher states. Which means you have to speak. Which means you have to act. Which means you have to jump. Which means you have to trust abundance. Which means you have to trust the higher self when you have no idea where the higher self is taking you. This is what you're here to do. You've got to do it. We're all learning how to. It requires faith, trust, surrender, right? Because where we are going, where we already are, this bump of fourth dimensional consciousness that we're now standing in, most of us, and we are now having to be in as we're watching older versions of us breaking out of that bubble as we stand in this bubble, right? We're standing in this bubble watching ourselves break out of this bubble. It requires courage, faith, trust, surrender, listening to higher self, not ego, action. This requires lots of action. And this requires allowing this part of us that we've been in for so many years to dissolve. 
And this, we've never been before. We don't know what this looks like. We've never been in a fourth dimensional field in a physical form before, most of us. We've never had to shift from a third dimensional field into a fourth dimensional field within the same physical form. We've never shifted consciousness this way. And so you forgot what, it, what's, what it's like because you knew prior to coming into the body what this was going to be like. You knew what the fourth dimensional field would be like. You knew what the fifth dimensional field would be like and so on. You knew this. But when you drop into body, you're in, you're in a denser consciousness, you forget. You're remembering right now. You're remembering this. But many of us, what you're going to recognize is as you start being asked to be and act in these new ways, it's going to be, you're going to be blind. You're going to be like, I don't, I don't, what does that mean? Why are you asking me to do this higher self? I don't know what that's going to look like. How do I know I'm going to be taken care of, right? How, all these things. That is why the DNA activates at the same time that we are shifting. It's, it's simultaneous because the DNA is what allows us to remember how to be multidimensional as we are stepping into this new cloud, as we are being in this new cloud. The, the DNA, the light codes, show us how to be. So we have to trust that our physical form is designed to be in these higher states and we will know how to be in them as soon as we surrender into it. Which means when you are being pushed to let go of a relationship, right? You trust that what's happening is you moving from here to here. When you are being asked to finally let go of a career or a job because you are craving or desiring to go move into a cabin and write or paint or dance or whatever it is, right? You are doing this. You're moving from three to four, right? When you are being asked to take out your entire savings and go travel in a camper van or whatever you're being asked to do, you're moving from here to here. When you are being asked to finally move out of your parents' home and speak your truth to them and let them know who you are, what your vibration is, what your truth is, you're moving from here to here. And all of those examples require a huge amount of trust, a huge amount of surrendering, because it is your higher self that is asking you to take those shifts, to take those leaps of faith, to jump, to be. Hey, you're ready, George. You're ready, Karen. You're ready, Patty. You're ready. You're vibrating here. You don't need to be here anymore. You're vibrating here. We are asking you, the higher self, those nudges you get, those pushes you get, right? to take action, take action, take action. That's your higher self and your guides telling you that you're already vibrating here. Your resonance, I don't vibrate with that person. I don't resonate with that person anymore. That doesn't feel good anymore. I don't wanna be here anymore. That's you vibrating here. That's you vibrating here and you are being asked, please, 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 George, please, Susan, please, Sherry, please, whoever, jump. You're ready. You can hold this vibration. You're, you're gonna be taken care of. You're gonna be okay. You're going to be okay. You have to trust that jumping into this new dimensional field that you're already vibrating and anchoring is possible. Nobody can pull you into that. You have to jump. You have to take the, the, the jumps. And that's what we're all doing right now. We're jumping all the time. Out of old paradigms and into new ways. Out of old belief systems and into new belief systems. And these are brand new. We don't know what the heck they hold. We don't know how we're going to be until we be. We have to jump. Right? We have to trust. So this is what's happening. You are already vibrating. Most of us. Most of you. In a 4D. You're ready to be here. But it requires the remembrance that you're not going to know what or how or any of this until you jump. Until you say, screw it, I'm going. I'm trust. I'm going to trust. And what you're going to notice, most of us, many of us, I should say, is that you are, when you, whatever this push is, whatever this jump is, it's going to typically look like you are literally doing something that most humans would never do. That doesn't make sense. Most people don't do that. Why are you doing these things, right? So 
So just pay attention. When you break out of one dimensional field and enter into another dimensional field, you are literally breaking out of all of the ways humanity exists, all of the ways humanity sees things, all of the ways humanity does things, all of the linear boxed in programs, paradigms, and belief systems you are breaking out of. And you will continue to. Pay attention. Listen to your higher self. Remember you're a way shower. Remember you are a way shower. You are here on the earth plane in this physical form to show the way. And even if you're lying on your couch, exhausted and unable to do anything, that's okay. You're still showing the way. You're still showing the way. Okay. So don't beat yourself up because you're not doing anything at all. Nothing's happening to you. No pushes are being asked of you. You're not being asked to jump anywhere. Nothing's happening. There's a lot happening in that very quiet world and reality that you're in right now. There's a lot happening. Our journeys are very unique, but you're still anchoring that 4D on your way to anchoring a 5D. So you're still anchoring that 4D, even if you're flat on your back for three weeks sick. Whatever it is that you're experiencing, you're showing the way by honoring your experience. You're showing the way by surrendering to the exhaustion. You're showing the way by allowing yourself to not beat yourself up. By having compassion for yourself. I actually love myself as I'm laying here for the sixth week in a row. I'm going to have compassion for myself, right? Is that possible? Can you do that? That's being in a 4D field. That's being in a 4D frequency. Most humans would say, oh my God, that would be driving me nuts. I would be going out of my skin. I would be like, I would be feeling this and this, right? And you're saying, oh no, no, I'm just having compassion for myself. I'm just loving myself. I'm trusting that it's all okay. That's a completely different way of viewing your reality in this up here. Whereas most humans would say, oh my God, I would never be able to do that. There's no way I could do that, right? I would be beating myself up. I'd be going crazy. I'd be feeling this and this, whatever that is. So no matter where you are, no matter what your reality looks like, okay, even if you're not being asked to jump and do things, there are subtle things in your now that you are being asked to do differently. Pay attention, pay attention, get alert, get acutely alert. I guarantee you, the more alert you become in your now, the more you're going to realize, holy shit, I really am the way shower. I am doing things differently. I really am. I'm doing things differently. I see things very differently. I'm acting very differently. I'm being very different. Pay attention. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a way shower. Thank you for remembering. Thank you for doing your best to remember as often as you can while you're in this form, while you're on this earth plane at this particular time, this now moment, this massive physical shift in consciousness. And if you're young and new and just beginning to awaken, you're going to do this much faster than most of us. Okay, so put your seatbelt on, get ready for the ride and trust everything that is coming up in your now, especially if it is rattling you, especially if it is creating chaos, especially if it is breaking you out of everything you ever knew to be your truths. That's ascension. I love you. Remember you're surrounded by beings of light. You can call them in at any time. They're always here for you, cheering you on. And I'll see you next time.